Hey everyone, um, let's get this show on the road. It's episode 14 of What's Selling. It was a good week. Um, this is the busiest time of the year for resellers. I sold 22 things and the first one is this cobalt glaze, almost like a salt glaze pie plate. I have had it for a while. I paid $250 for it, I believe, at a estate sale. It sold for $47 with $8.95 shipping, profit of $35.55. Oh, I love this. It was a, a Mr. Christmas. Mr. Christmas sells pretty well. I picked this up at a garage sale for $15. It was the Away in the Manger version. Sold it for $125 with $21.51 shipping, so a profit of $88.49. Crocheted pillowcases, I had heard that these sold well. I'm finding they don't sell that great for me. Um, only paid $2, a dollar each. Sold them for $25.08 shipping, so a profit of $15.12. And they have sat for a while, and I still have others listed that that haven't sold yet. Um, these mid-century modern singing angels, I believe were from Lufton, uh, paid $20 for the four of them at an estate sale, $5 a piece. They sold for $85 with $9.94 shipping, so a profit of $55.06. I also have had this, um, for a while. I thought it was gorgeous. I thought it would sell quickly. It is a very old Yardley um, powder jar in silver, very Art Deco in style. Picked it up at a garage sale for $5. Sold it for $28 with $508 shipping, so a profit of $17.92. So last week, you may have remembered that the May Wright pottery I had bought on the bus trip sold. I did email the um, customer that bought those and said, did you see that I have the plates available? If you want them, I will give you 20% off. And he did want them. And so he did purchase them for $159. That was with the 20% off. Um, then, like I said before, $25 is what I paid for them. Shipping of eleven ninety eight, dollars so a profit of one twenty two oh two dollars for those plates. Uh, my first ugly Christmas sweater sale, it's a Bobby Brooks vest that my niece actually picked up for me for a dollar at a, a garage sale. I sold it for $35, uh, shipping of five eighty two, dollars so a profit of $28.18. I find as long as the the sweaters are like a name brand, they do sell better. A patchwork Christmas tree skirt that I picked up on our um, Iowa trek. I bought this for $2.50. It was handmade, uh, not quilted, but handmade patchwork Christmas cr tree skirt. Very cute. Sold it for $49, $6.36 in shipping, so a profit of $40.14. This 1926 sampler, I picked up at an estate sale for $11, um, sold it for $62, shipping of course was cheap at $406, so a profit of $46.94. These, I call them diorama because they're like plastic Christmas ornaments, but they had like little scenes inside of them. I remember these as a kid. So pick these up for $2.25. Um, I'm trying to remember where I got these. At an estate sale, I believe. Sold them for $39. Shipping $6.36 with a profit of $30.39. I've had this perfume bottle for quite a while. They're called Skyscraper Perfume Bottles. This one happened to be from Dorothy Perkins, probably 19... 40s, I would guess. Paid $3 at a garage sale. Uh, sold it for $30. 408 shipping. So a profit of $22.92. So this is like unusual. I've actually had this um, set of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus prints. They're lithographs. Very old. I would say 1920s, 1930s. 
I sold both of them this week. The first one had white wooden frames. I paid $28 for the two of them. Uh, shipping was $8.15. Um, I sold it for $130. So my profit was $93.85. And the was the same, a little bit larger, just a smidge, maybe an inch long, larger. And they were in gold frames. Again, paid $30 for this set. These were a bit water damaged, but I explained that to the, the customer and she still wanted them. I sold them for, again, $130, $8.89 shipping. So a profit on these of $91.11. I actually used this set in my home decor last year and I love them, but I don't keep things. I am not a collector. I only sell. I'll use things for a while and then list them and that's what I did with this set. Uh, this hand carved beggar or tramp, I'm sure he was from Italy from the brand Andre. I picked him up at $5 on an estate sale, sold him for $55. Shipping was $8.82, so a profit of $41.18. Oh, this cute little doll sideboard, and it was filled with tiny pieces of doll china or children's uh, tea set, kind of like very old. I paid $3 at an auction sale. It was in a box of other things. I um, sold it for $56 with $12.10 shipping, so a profit of $40.90. I bought this uh, cellophane, or cellophane wreath, light-up wreath, probably from the 40s. It was in a uh, box at an auction, and averaging out, I paid $7.08 for it. Sold it for $39. Shipping was a bit high, I thought, because it weighed nothing but it was 12 inches um, in diameter. So yeah, I had to use a larger box. So $9.94, so a profit of $21.98. Uh, the Noma Christmas lights, I paid 50 cents for at um, that charity rummage sale that I go to. They sold for $35, shipping of $6.65. The, the customer bought two items, so I just averaged the shipping out. So a profit of $27.85. The L. E. Smith black uh, footed bowl, it was hand painted. I believe the pattern was called Mount Pleasant. I picked this up at an antique store for $6 and sold it for $45 with $6.65 shipping. So $32.35 was my profit. This Yukago um, figurine of a young man playing a French horn. My sister actually picked this up for me at, um, I, I think she may have got it like in a free pile or a box at an auction. Anyways, I'm going to say I paid a quarter for it. Sold it for $30 and $9.94 shipping. So a profit of $19.81. And then just this morning, I sold three items. This duck tie rack, which I also advertised as a dog leash holder or a kitchen towel holder because it, it could have multiple uses. I know originally it was a t for a tie rack, but I picked this up at 50 cents or for 50 cents at a garage sale and sold it for $20. Unfortunately, because of the um, price rate of the, the post office, shipping was $8.82. At the time I bought it, it was the shipping would have been much cheaper. So anyways, a profit of $10.68. You know, not the highest profit, but hey, I still made money. Uh, the uh, this I sold one of the golden books, little golden books. I bought a huge lot long ago at an auction sale, so I average out that I paid 50 cents a piece for them. They have been selling steadily. Um, shipping is $3.49, so I make a profit Oh, and they sell for $8.75 each with free shipping. So I made a profit of $4.76. Again, my profit used to be higher, but since the postal increases, the, uh, the profit has went down a bit. Okay, so this wine decanter from Italy. It has the raff raffita stopper. You would put ice in the one container. They're hand-blown. And then it also has a raff raffita top. I paid $5 at the Wisconsin um, yard sale trip that I made. 
It sold for $67, but shipping was horrendous. This is the first time I actually used Pirate Ship because even shipping through Etsy was going to cost me a lot of money. So I did get the shipping down to $22.91. So I made a profit of $39.09 on this wine container. So if you add it all up, this week I made $926.23. And this is probably the first time I'm going to tell you what I bought. I, I profited taking away the fees. So my fees for all of these items were $60.20. So actually my net for the week was $866.03. Yeah, you have to pay the fees, but you know, there's no way I could sell these things on Marketplace or at a garage sale or anything and make this much money. And that's because I have hundreds of views every week on my items in my shop. If I would put these in an antique store, say I'm gonna sell them in an antique store, what? how many people would um, a hometown antique store get through in a day? I'm gonna say maybe 500. I don't know if they would get that many. But the point is, there are thousands of people that can look at my items on the internet. They can type in a search word, they may have been looking for something, you know, nostalgic from their childhood, and they can find it there without having to do all the legwork of running all over to look for it in antique stores. So that wraps up my video. Um, like I said before, this is the highest selling time of the year. There's also another little peak when people get income tax returns back, like starting in February. Um, and then sometimes right after Christmas, when people have gotten gifts of money for Christmas, you'll see a little upstart in the, in the selling too. I probably am not going to post a video on Sunday like I usually do. I have family coming in tonight and it is Thanksgiving tomorrow and kind of plan to spend it with my kiddos and grandkids. So all for now, happy Thanksgiving and we'll see you in a week. Bye.